Hi, my name is Casey. Welcome to the beautiful Thomas R. McLean Health Sciences Building. We are home to the DPT program and the OTD program. Both programs are constantly working together within the building. This is a $13 million facility that is 34,000 square feet. Every inch of this place was designed to meet the needs of both programs. During the day, you can find students studying and waiting between classes. At night, you'll see students studying, preparing for the next day. This area was all designed for both programs in mind, making sure that they are able to work together as teams and have the best learning experience possible. Hi, I'm Calvin. Uh, we're looking at the Human Performance Lab today. It is a state-of-the-art research and education facility. We have a lot of state-of-the-art equipment in here uh, to assess cardiovascular and respiratory fitness. We have two machines to assess body composition from the SECA to the gold standard of the BOD pod. And we have the SwimEx here. It's our swimming pool that allows someone to swim across a current. We also have a treadmill down at the bottom that allows someone to walk through an aquatic environment. To assess somebody walking through, we have two windows down there that allow someone to assess the gait pattern and not even get wet. And we have this chair, lift chair, that allows someone to safely get in and out of the pool if they're having uh, trouble with that. We have the bod pod here. This allows someone to have their body composition assessed. Uh, it tells you uh, your percent of body fat uh, to lean muscle mass. Uh, you can have this done in less than a minute in the air filled chamber. And then we also have the biodex here. We use it for upper and lower extremity strengthening and testing. Uh, we have several faculty members that work alongside therapists out of Fort Bragg where they use it to assess joints um, of the military members out there and the military members actually come here for the testing. Now we're going to be looking at one of our major classrooms. In this room it allows us to go straight from lecture into uh, practicing our clinical skills and all we do is just place this mat on top and we can get in right into practicing what we've just been taught. Hello, my name is Caitlin. I'm a part of the Occupational Therapy Program here at Methodist University. I will be showing you the Motor Control and Pediatric Lab. This room is used for the OT and PT faculty members for their research projects. There's also gate equipment, such as adjustable parallel bars for training on gate, as well as curb and ramps. There are two ceiling mounts for various suspension swings, as well as pediatric balance boards and integrated play equipment. Here are the evaluation rooms used for evaluations of the students during their practical examination, as well as the pediatric exam room that has child-sized furniture in order to work with the pediatric populations. Now I am going to show you the activities of daily living laboratory. Please follow me. This room is an adaptive learning environment that provides a functional kitchen, a shopping area, a bathroom and laundry area, a living room, as well as a bedroom. The floors are meant to be different in each room in order to present a barrier for people with mobility, um, cognitive and visual impairments. The kitchen is also used for the first year occupational therapy students during their foundations class. There's also hosted here the home health interdisciplinary educational experience where the occupational therapy, physical therapy, and nursing students all work together to identify barriers in the home and provide recommendations for improvement. Hello, I'm Portia, a graduate student here at Methodist University. I'm a part of the occupational therapy program. Right now we're standing in our mobility and accessibility courtyard. As you may notice right off front that we have different surfaces, change of surfaces, we have different terrains. And what we try to simulate here is a change in the environment, just natural changes in the environment and barriers or supports that may assist an individual. Next area that we're gonna view here is our mobility vehicle. It is a stationary car that we use and we've been able to learn about programs like CarFit. We have a professor here on campus that specializes in driver's rehab rehabilitation training. So we've been able to do a lot of hands-on training and learn a lot of great skills necessary for handling a vehicle. And here we are in our state-of-the-art motion analysis lab. In this room, we're able to study human movement. 
we'll take a look at the 14 cameras that we have here. These cameras are able to be picked up with the use of the markers as well, reflective markers. Um, the light waves, they'll send out where the body is in space. So we're able to look at joint angles, we're able to look at someone's reach, their uh, body alignment as they're reaching, and even range of motion. The force plates here, these are great at measuring kinetics. Um, so what that is is force output. Um, whether someone is doing a push-up or jumping off of it, doing a box jump, or one thing that we were able to do as uh, students here, we were able to measure if when someone had their walker, how much of their force they were putting through their upper extremity versus their lower extremities to kind of look at center of gravity and um, just to keep a client safe as they're using a walker for mobility. Hello, my name is Tyler Marinelli. I'm an occupational therapy student here at Methodist University. I'm also an ambassador for the program. Behind me is one of two classrooms that occupational therapy students will utilize for didactic learning and other activities for lecture. If you'll come with me. So like I said, this here is one of the classrooms that these students will utilize for learning. Uh, if you notice, there's a screen in the back as well as a screen in the front to utilize multiple viewing angles. Uh, if you'll notice, the desks are grouped together for more collaborative group work and they can also be reassigned in rows during times of test taking or for individual activities during lecture. If you'll come with me over here. So this here is the hot plate. It's used for splinting and ortho orthotic fabrication with wet and dry media. Uh, this here is one of the splints that students might make during class or during lab activities to help enhance and uh, create a better understanding of the coursework material. Hi, my name is Hannah. This is our PT clinical lab, so let's go inside. So in here we have um, everything you'd see in an outpatient clinical setting. So we have traction tables, we have therapeutic exercise equipment, high-low table. Um, we also have ultrasound, electrical stimulation equipment, all right here in this room. Here we have the clinical skills lab. Let's head inside. So we have 26 state-of-the-art high-low tables that we'll use for manual therapy, facilitation techniques, um, and we have access to this after hours too. We call it the green and gold room and we'll stay studying here until late hours of the night. Welcome to Methodist University's Cadaver Lab. This Cadaver Lab is shared by physical therapy students, occupational therapy students, and physician's assistant students as well. All students join here together to collectively learn about the body, the structures, the functions that will help support their knowledge out in the clinical world. If you'll come with me, we'll look at a cadaver table up close. So this here is a cadaver table behind me. The table opens up and students will work in groups, whether you're in physical therapy, you'll work out to the left. If you're a physician's assistant, you'll work out to the right. Occupational therapy students will work back here in this room. It's a collection of four different tables plus an additional one out front. Students are in roughly five to six um, students per group. In these groups, students are able to dissect bodies that uh, will follow lecture material that is learned earlier in the week. Students also have the ability to utilize technology such as this here to further understand the function and structures that uh, they're identifying in the cadaver bodies. In addition to the professors that teach the class, adjuncts are brought in, um, real world clinicians that work full time jobs as therapists to help students further ident identify, understand, and enhance the learning environment. Here we are in a nursing building on the campus of Methodist University. Um, what we're going to see now is a simulated hospital, and this is actually one of the only general simulated hospital facilities in the state of North Carolina on a college campus. So what we'll see here, we'll see the mannequins here at bedside. We've had the privilege of working with the mannequins and they're able to um, program and have various health conditions and levels of consciousness to really get that experience that you may come across in a hospital setting. You can see the blood pressure cuff, you can see the lines, and this really helps you with your confidence for line management, dealing with Foley's and um, IV lines and the various things that the tools and equipment you may have come across within a hospital setting. We have also a newborn neonatal care area and we also have pediatric care area. So we're able to get a lot of experiences, particularly hands-on with body positioning, wound care, 
skin checks, and just really how to work and care for an individual at bedside.